Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Boost Your Biology podcast. Today, I'm super excited to be discussing something very new and very innovative. Today, we have Mario Branovich. Mario, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm really excited to share this beautiful thing with the world with your followers. Awesome. So Mario, maybe you want to let my listeners know a little bit about your story and your background and, and how you became so fascinated with this particular water. Well, you know, I owned a company that sold natural supplements. So anything that was, I was really, really, really passionate about health and wellness. So I'm always into stuff that um, is really for the highest good of all, something that can really uh, change this whole planet for the better. And uh, after a while, I sold this company to Walgreens and I was really kind of excited to find this next big Thing, something that can really change the world. And then I got involved in this project and it's just amazing on any level. So it really has the power not only to change human health, animal health, plant health, but it actually has a power to influence environment in such a powerful way that is, it's really, truly a blessing. So I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to speak about it with you. Of course, of course. So Maybe Mario, do you want to sort of explain what this particular water actually is and maybe discuss its origins and, and how they sort of, um, you know, utilize it now? Awesome. It's really, it's really extraordinary topic. Most people are completely unaware of that 99% of our molecules are water. We're 70% water in mass, but 99% in molecules. I mean, that information in and of itself shows that the kind of the water we drink mm. really has an extraordinary impact on our overall health and wellness. And it's the same for any biological system. So what's interesting about water is water is a broadband absorber, receiver and transmitter of energy, which also people don't really realize. And um, at this current state, due to various environmental reasons, H2O molecules in drinking water behave in a chaotic and irregular manner. They're actually crashing into each other constantly. We are unaware of that because this all happens on an atomic level. So what's interesting is that we have found a way. What happens is that you can, through a certain process, this is our product called Analemma. With this device, we're actually, when we treat the water with it, what happens is that those same H2O molecules start forming a liquid crystalline structure. Mm. They start linking together and behaving harmonically. So there is extraordinary change that happens just with a couple of swirls with our device. The state of water completely changes. Mm. And when we apply this water to basically any biological system, the results were phenomenal. This is the water as it's supposed to be. This is like every biological system should be exposed to this water and it will thrive in wonderful ways. So it's truly, truly something amazing. I mean, it's, it's a simple element, but it carries so much importance that we are completely, as a planet, <laughs> completely unaware of, of the magic that actually is hidden in the water. Water literally carries a secret. It's interesting that most people are also unaware like electromagnetic vibrations, which we are constantly influenced by, they have a profound influence on water. Since water is a broadband absorber and receiver of energy, all this energy gets sucked in water. Mm. If you have a proper structural water, if you have, if you drink coherent water, you're actually enabling your entire body to enter this coherent state where you can receive the optimum information that is out there. Mm. It's really something truly extraordinary. It is. It is. It sounds similar to some of the other like structured water. I know you mentioned that before, as far as like the initial like research, like was that initially performed on like in rats or like how did that come about? And we actually tested it. There is one thing when we wanted to test it on humans, we really kind of wanted to pick a test that will definitively prove that something biologically remarkable happens when you drink this water. So we actually picked a glycanage. Glycanage is very precision health test. It's, they say that it's the most accurate health and wellness test available. 
So it actually, uh, through these proteins in blood called glycans, you can very accurately predict the biological age of a person. So it actually measures the age of your immune system. So it's really extraordinary. So what we did is like we took healthy volunteers did the first glycan age test. So we found out what's their biological age. And then they drank an alum of water for three months, not changing anything else, not their diet, exercise regime, anything. And they only drank a liter to a liter and a half of our water a day. And after three months, we did another test to see if something changed. And the results were extraordinary. It was like between one and 12 years of biological age regeneration, their whole system got regenerated within only three months. So it's really extraordinary. Then we, I mean, we tested it on plants so many times in many, many, many different ways. We realized that the cellular energy of, for instance, tomatoes, we did it on many plants, on tomatoes, it increases by 50%. So we're not talking about a couple of percent of increase. We're talking about 50% of increased cellular energy. All that energy ends up in us eventually. So it's really an extraordinary thing. We actually tested it on animals as well. And results, basically, whichever biological system we apply this water to, it thrived in some way or form. So yeah, it's really exciting, exciting thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it sounds like as far as the applications, it goes beyond human consumption. You're looking at potentially plant organisms is that what you're trying to yes and you know what you know what's extraordinary as well like we have this farmer that we kind of worked with for a couple of years now and he's growing this particular kind of cucumber and like they give you like 10 to 12 weeks a year and that's it with our water now we're 22 weeks so it increased almost like 100 percent which is also extraordinary and not even yield, which is also extraordinary for agriculture, but the quality of the plant. What we did actually is there is this technology that is very, very sophisticated nowadays. Uh, the technology is so sophisticated that it can measure biophotons. So every living thing exudes light. And now we have very, very sophisticated technology that can collect that light and actually measure it. So it's interesting that tomatoes that we watered with our water in comparison with tomatoes that we watered with regular tap water, ours had 50% more light. So they wow. exuded 50% more light. The same happens with humans. What we're going to do now, we're actually just starting with the double blind placebo control randomized study that will measure ATP levels in humans, so cellular energy. So in a couple of months, we're going to have results there, which is just going to be awesome. And now, actually, hopefully this year, there is this device which can also measure biophotons in humans. So that's going to also be interesting to see what's going to happen there. Sounds really interesting. I mean, for me, now it's starting to sound like a um, an intervention that would improve just cellular metabolomics and metabolism and, and potentially like do we suspect that it may have like some antioxidant potential or what do we think is the mechanism? We, we haven't measured the antioxidant but you know the way i kind of see it this is also something that i have mentioned what we did is also test brain waves mm. so we actually took a biological identical twins and it was a double blind study where we actually put them and we measured their brain waves and we gave them, two of them, to drink. One was coherent water, our water, and the other one was regular. And we measured their brain waves in real time. And it's extraordinarily interesting when the twin that drank our water, there was instant, instant calming effect on the brain waves. Instant. So we realized that brain waves showed this change instantly. Body enters like the left and the right side of the brain start communicating much better. Your whole system start communicating much better. And when you are in a coherent state, your overall health gets changed. So it's not like about those any particular details. I believe that our entire biology kind of thrives on this water. So we already have many, many tests coming out, but these are the ones that are now on the table. And you're probably aware, the more energy our cells have, they can treat any and all issues that actually show. So that's why we kind of figured that this lichen age test showed such remarkable results. 
Because, you know, through these glycans, you can very accurately predict if you're going to contrive any particular disease down the line five or 10 years ago, five or 10 years in the future. And what's lovely is that within only three months, your glycans are changing. Mm. So long-term drinking of this water can really have a powerful and a profound influence on our overall health and wellness. It's incredible. It's incredible. As far as like other applications, Mario, I'd sort of love to learn about like, have you, has there been, uh, you know, a wide range of athletes integrating this into their training and stuff like that? We are that? actually doing athlete study as well, because we, you know, I'm telling you, it's just extraordinary. And not only like balancing, but when your body enters the state of coherence, something remarkable happens. So we're now measuring also athletic results. We're into the whole thing, but you know, there are many things, but when we have the results, then we will present them. And maybe after a while, we can do another podcast so you can get an insight on what's happening on in any on all areas. So yeah, definitely sports performance is definitely one of them. Not only from the like strength level, but you know, athletes need balance, they need accuracy. And when you're left and right side of the brain start communicating much better those results get enhanced i'd imagine that like it would have no influence on the taste of the water is that right actually a lot of people report that it tastes sweeter viscosity of it also kind of change changes but you know some people don't to be honest i don't taste the difference too much a little bit there so you can actually taste the difference but the main difference is in the result and what about as far as the actual stick itself, the device itself, like how many times can someone reuse the same? This is the thing. We kind of didn't want to make this technology expensive for people. Mm. So when you look at it, it costs $180. But this is the thing. It will create coherent water for you till the rest of your life if you don't break it. So you can use it till the rest of your life. So it's truly, truly amazing thing. We just need to really take care of it because it's very fragile. This is the thing. What is actually the device just to explain? Yeah. It takes one whole year to create this, what we call mother water, which is inside this crystal vial and it has holder on it. So what you actually do is just uh, put water in, um, in a glass or in a pitcher. It just swirls for three deciliters. It's like maybe 15, 20 seconds. That's basically it. And what's interesting is that when we used regular glass, we didn't have such results when we used crystal glass. Since crystal is um, a superconductor, it's almost like it's not there. And whenever any H2 molecule comes into close proximity to mother water, it immediately starts to mimic exactly the same structure. That's why it's so simple and it's so effective. And what's actually one extraordinary difference between our water, because there were some scientists all over the planet that did some form of structured water through vortexes and many other means. But the difference is stability. Any water that we tested, then they actually do form some sort of a structure, but they lose stability between a couple of minutes and a day and a half. Right. Our water with just one swirl stays in that same coherent state even four years after one swirl. Wow. So that's one of the main differences. It is extraordinarily stable. Mm. And when you drink this stable water, your entire body becomes stable. Mm. I don't know if you're aware, there are now many doctors and scientists that realize that the structure of water molecules that surround our DNA very powerfully kind of predict our health. If the structure of water molecules that surround our DNA, if it's strong, we're healthy. When we age, that structure starts to kind of break down. Mm. And then our health starts to break down. Mm. It's also a very, very interesting thing because water in our body is structured. What's interesting is when we drink regular water, which is chaotic, our body has to spend energy to put it back into that state. But when we drink it mm. exactly the way it should be, then body doesn't have to spend energy doing it, which so, is also very interesting. Well, this sort of makes me wonder, like, if we look at, let's say, like spring water from like, let's say a mountain, does that have the same coherency, same structure? Not really. We actually tested many waters. 
due to various environmental reasons, electromagnetic reasons, there are many, many, many things influencing water, as I mentioned. But water is a broadband absorber and receiver of energy. Mm. Due to all the chaos that we as uh, humans are <laughs> creating on the planet, mm. there almost isn't a place on the planet that has water in a coherent state. Wow. And so this, like, this crystal... You're saying this crystal glass is a superconductor of whatever's inside. So that yes, mother, yes. that mother water, yes. um, how is that prepared? I know it's maybe a proprietary. It's a proprietary thing. So what we can just say is that we are not using electricity. It's just mechanical process. Mm. And as I mentioned, it takes one full year to create it. But that's why it's so extraordinarily stable. Mm, okay, awesome. And, and, yeah, and when we drink this water, our whole entire body becomes that stable. So that's really something powerful. As far as the like frequency of use, like let's say from let's say somebody's looking at just improving wellness, like day to day energy and and vitality, would they just be doing like maybe two swirls and then drink that glass or drink that bottle and then that's enough or? Should it be free? Well, everybody who's involved in the dilemma, I'm drinking exclusively this water. I'm not drinking any other. So what I would suggest is like you uh, have a pitcher, maybe like a two liter pitcher, and then you just like swirl for a minute, minute and a half. And that's basically it. Then you drink this two liters. And when you drink it through, you just do the same process again. You know, what's interesting. When we did this glycan age study, participants had to drink a liter and a half of water a day. And since this water, we say that it loves the sun, we actually realize that that water is a living organism. We kind of figure, oh, it's a dead thing or whatever. It's actually changing electromagnetically every single day due to position of the earth towards the sun. So it's extraordinary. So we told the participants of the study to, to expose the analemma to the sun every single day. And this lady, what's interesting, she actually put it in a small kind of a garden of very short kind of plants. And after a month and a half, she just placed it in the same spot. Like you, you just like you like you draw a circle around it. The plants around the position where, where she put an alema grew three centimeters more than all the plants around. So it really has a profound also electromagnetic influence because it, it, it wasn't water. It, it just stood there. So it's really, 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 really interesting. We're actually discovering, you know, things when we're doing the studies more and more, we just keep discovering new things. Mm. That's really interesting. As far as the conductivity aspect of it, it's not actually leaking any water, is it? It's just, it's actually just up against the glass device? Is that how it's designed? It's just a crystal vial, okay? Yeah. And it's filled with mild water. And then we just put a handle on it so it's easier uh, to swirl. Yeah. And then you have two versions like a stainless steel cap or a walnut. It's kind of a, a bit luxury version, walnut cover. But the analemma in itself is actually the same. The key thing is this mother water. Yeah. That's the where did, of it. Where did, where, did the name, where did the name come from? It's actually interesting since there is this, we realize this extraordinary connection between the sun and the water. An alema is actually the um, sun sign. When you, when you take a photo of the sun from one place on the earth for 365 days, you're going to get this infinity symbol. This infinity symbol is actually an alema. Wow. Amazing. You know, it's it also, I'm just going to say something most people actually aren't aware of. People think that sun is warmth. So there is extraordinary warmth coming out of the sun. But if you're just like a kilometer away from sun, it would be absolute zero. Because the sun is cold. The sun exudes electromagnetic vibration. And when that extraordinary amount of energy reaches our atmosphere, then the heat actually happens. Wow. And water responds to that energy. It's the same way like the moon, for instance. Water on the planet moves. You have tides and everything due to electromagnetic influence of the moon. And you can imagine since we are 99% water, 
all of these energies have a profound influence on our overall health and wellness and our connection with the environment. That's why we called our water conscious water because it makes you connected. You are kind of um, enabled to receive the information that you wouldn't usually wouldn't be able to because the water that you are, so to speak, is out of whack. That's why actually we call an alema the architect of life because it's the architect of water molecules inside your body. Mm. Interesting. What about like, just going back to the brainwave study that you did, that sounds really interesting. I'm sort of wondering like, what were the main, I know you said that it uh, made the, one of the twins karma, but like what, what? Calming effect on the brainwaves, because you know, this is what we realized when we did with various doctors and scientists, we kind of set the, the baseline. Okay. What is the proper brainwave, like the healthy brainwave and what are the brainwaves that are out of whack? And then we kind of tested it in the seed. And, you know, there is something also very profound about this water is what we realized is that when people use the cell phone, their brain waves go out of whack. Usually people, when there is testing in the, this whole tech world around electromagnetic waves, man-made waves, it's about like the heat effect. But we realized that when people use cell phones, it has a profound influence on brain waves. And we did the study actually, where when people drank our water and regular water as a control, when people who drank our water, immediately those out of whack brain waves came down to normal, which is extraordinary. Wow. And the person who would same cell phone exposure to drink regular water, they didn't have this effect. Mm. So these are actually just experiments that we did that can definitively prove, okay, something really remarkable happens there. And it happens instantly. This is something when you measure these brain waves, this is something that either happens or it doesn't. And the effect is profound. Also, since we know that it does something remarkable, we tested it on an Alzheimer patient and okay. the results were also phenomenal. Of course, this is not just a disclaimer to treat <laughs> any disease, cure anything, but I just wanted to put it out there because the result was really, really, really phenomenal. What was, um, what was discovered with the Alzheimer's patient? So the main issue with Alzheimer's patients is the brain waves. And the more they drank, the more their brain waves actually started entering into a healthier levels. And um, I mean, as far as the brainwave dysfunction, what, what exactly is the brainwave dysfunction in Alzheimer's? This is the scope where it is. You know, there are like healthy scope and out of whack, either below or up. And maybe I can put Dr. Lariker next time on the phone. He can tell you more details about that particular study. The only thing that I can share is that the results actually went into the green. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. I'd love to, I'd love to see some more information on that. I'll make sure to link all of the research that you're discussing. Yes. That's really important. And actually, we're just going to now expand on the brainwave study, especially in this particular area, because it truly can help a lot. So we want to put it out there as well. Hmm. So you mentioned there's like an athletic performance study up and coming. What else is in the pipeline? We kind of wanted to design a study that will also show the effect of um, an alema water on immune response, immunity. And that was very difficult because it's very kind of hard to measure it effectively because, you know, if your immune response is for no reason enhanced, that either means that a pathogen attacked you. It shouldn't be that way. But we kind of designed the study in a very particular and interesting way. When we draw blood of the individual, we introduce very exact number of certain pathogen, let's say a certain bacteria, let's say a hundred of them. And then we see how immune system, how many of them will wipe out. For instance, it will take out 70% of them. And then we do the same test after three months of using our water. So it's the same immune system, but with our water. So we are measuring immune response. That's the whole thing. And we're actually also within a couple of months, we're going to have that study coming out as well. Also double blind placebo control randomized. And then if the immune system now wipes out more of the same pathogen, that would mean that the immune response is stronger. 
Mm-hmm. So for instance, if it now wipes out 90 out of 100, that means that there is a, an increase of 30% of the immune response. So it enables body to handle and treat pathogens when they arrive. Mm. Amazing. So that's the study, yeah, that we are also doing now. With the existing research, Mario, as far as the actual clinical trials, for example, do they have another name for the analemma water? Like, do they call it something else in the studies? Not really. No, it's just analemma water. (laughs) Because, you know, it's not an ingredient, uh, 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 so to speak. It's actually water, but it's just a very particular sort of water. So it's not like they're ingesting anything. You know, for regular science, it's kind of a lot of people don't understand it because it's really completely new. It's revolutionary. Nobody actually talked about it too much. There are some scientists on the planet, but if we are like talking whole scientific world, it's not well known still. But we're considering ourselves uh, the pioneers. Actually, we're just recently featured on Viewpoint with Dennis Quaid as a up-and-coming health and wellness uh, revolutionary product. So that's also, you know, people are starting to recognize because it really has a profound influence on, on people's health. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, there are so many different types of waters, like there's deuterium depleted water, hydrogen water, structured water, spring water, like um, yeah. as far as the application, like, you know, applying the device, you can use it on, Filtered water, it sounds like, or tap water. Anyway. Yeah. And if it has H2O molecules, where you can actually put your uh, put your wine or beer in, <laughs> oh, wow. in a coherent state as well. If it has H2O molecules, it will start forming this liquid crystalline structure yeah. and, and get the effect. That's the thing. I have to uh, mention one more extraordinary benefit, as I mentioned, for the environment. So I mentioned humans, I mentioned plants. Actually, I haven't mentioned animals. I'm going to mention that as well. But you know what's interesting? We did this study, which is something that can truly change the world as well. Everybody's talking about greenhouse gases and CO2 in the atmosphere. What we found out, and then these are early results, but they're really phenomenal, is that when you water the soil, actually what we did is we destroyed the soil. So it was completely depleted of everything. And then we watered it with analemma water. What happens is that the microbiome of the soil started changing radically. So this beneficial bacteria started to flourish. And what happened is that the soil started to suck the CO2 out of the atmosphere. Wow. So it really is an amazing thing. Also, we're doing the microbiome research, human microbiome research very recently as well, because it actually diversifies. The main thing people don't understand about the microbiome is like the variety of beneficial bacteria you have, the healthier you are. And this water has a profound influence exactly on microbiome. So that's the environment implication. And there are now uh, many American universities getting very interesting about it because, you know, our environment is kind of in a dire place right now. So everybody's kind of seeking of um, sustainable and healthy ways to bring it back. And this is definitely one of them. Mission statement of our entire company is to bring all the bodies of water on the planet into coherent state. Because, you know, if we, for instance, we have already devised installations that we can put on the wells of rivers. And then all the, all the life down the river would thrive. Mm. And all that water would then enter the ocean. And then the oceans will become current. So it's really something that we're really passionate about. Amazing. As far as the microbiome, I'm really curious to know more about that. So is that an up and coming human study you're planning on doing? Yes, yeah, yes, cool. yes, very, very, very soon. Everything, all the parameters, everything is pretty much set. We're just entering now. So we'll definitely keep you posted because we're really excited. We already know that it does, that it has already a profound influence. We already know it. But now we're just going to design the study in a way and we're going to publish the study as well. So it's really something that we are excited about. Yeah, me too. I'm really excited to see that research. I mean, I know... Before, you just mentioned some of the animal research was promising. Yes, animal research is also very exciting. How it actually came about uh, is that Dr. Eric Larica, he's a veterinarian in his clinic, uh, have doctors and treat people. But what's interesting is that there was this farm, uh, pig farm, that had loads of trouble with pigs, with the health of the pigs. So they keep getting ill and whatever they used, regular methods, just didn't solve the problem. And uh, Eric gave them, analemma to try. And what happens is that within only one month, 
all the illnesses uh, in the whole farm went away. Wow. So it really has a profound influence on animals' health as well. And we're actually going to end up planning to do a very specific study to show that as well. Because, you know, we want to create also a device that can help animals. So in many various ways. We're actually also planning to do like the ultimate water treating system, which you could put in your house. It will clean the water out of all the pollutants. So that's going to be one end of things and then to put it in a coherent state. So you have like the best possible water you could have in your home. Well, that sounds like something I'll have to get for myself once you're finished, you know, with that new product. It's in the making and I'm guessing within a couple of months, we're going to have a um, first market ready product. So I'm definitely going to contact you. So yeah, I mean, it, it's a beautiful thing. I'm going to definitely, as soon as it's done, put it in my house. For now, we're using the product that we actually have at the moment, but there are many applications. As you mentioned, athletes, we're just going to create like a bottle that you can carry that will have an lemma inside the bottle. So whenever you're working out or you can actually use it. And we're planning some under the sink applications as well. So we're going to have many applications coming out, but we kind of didn't want to wait because we're now talking about over a decade of research. Wow. And we wanted to put it out there, like from the April of last year, we're offering it to the world. So wow. there are many, many, many more beautiful things coming. But, you know, now people can actually buy it and have the benefit. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, definitely exciting technology and I'm, you know, I'm really excited to see this explored further and even some of the research that you mentioned, um, yes. I'll definitely make sure to leave those linked for those listening in who want to learn more about the water. Was there any other final points you wanted to mention Mario that you think my, my audience should know about? I would just like to convey that, you know, all of us in the company, which is interesting, uh, we realize that water has intelligence mm. and we feel that we are serving this water, not the other way around. Mm. There is something truly beautiful about this that can really change the planet for the better. And I'm telling you, we're all serving the water. And I believe that anybody who comes into touch with it, their life is going to be definitely changed. Really, I believe that the next scientific breakthrough of this century will be water. People will start to understand why is it so extraordinarily important? Amazing, amazing. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more research and you'll have to keep me updated with all the new studies Most that come definitely. in. I'll Most definitely. definitely, I'm beyond excited and thank you so much for this opportunity because we really want to put um, information to as much people as possible so they can actually acquire the product and get the benefit. Amazing, amazing. Well, uh, yeah, Mario, thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been a, an absolute pleasure having you on. Pleasure is all mine. Thank you so much, Lucas. Thank you. Thank you.